Camp KVU Local News at 6. Well, good evening. I'm Amanda Mason and from Madeline Hagen. And I'm Jason Valentine. Thank you for joining us tonight. And we begin with the weather. Very important to talk about. A heat advisory across the entire lower basin starts tomorrow morning. That means dangerously warm temperatures after we've been enjoying some unseasonably cool weather. And let's talk about that, Jason, because I was outside today in Pasco for the yeah. memorial event, and I was just, I was a melting popsicle. And again, last week we were very chilly and then just slowly started to warm up, and we're going to yeah. continue warming up. Let's take a look at our heat advisory, and it's for most of our areas, save for Ellensburg. So temperatures between 97 and 105. Those are your highs starting tomorrow at 11 a.m. and it's gonna last until eight o'clock on Thursday. So get ready for some very hot temperatures on the way. Very comfortable temperatures considering what we're about to see today for your Memorial Day, 92 and sunny. Uh, just a hint of a breeze out there for most of our areas. Winds are not gonna be much of a factor until we get to later on this week. So I'll tell you all about the heat and the wind on the way and your full forecast coming up. And today we honor the American heroes who gave their lives in service. President Biden marked Memorial Day with a visit to Arlington National Cemetery and a reminder of why so many have given so much. And generation after generation of American heroes have signed up to be part of the fight because they understand the truth that lives in every American heart. That liberation, opportunity, justice are far more likely to come to pass in a democracy than an autocracy. This September marks 20 years since the 9-11 attacks, which launched America into yet another conflict. President Biden has says that he plans to have all Americans out of Afghanistan by September 11th of this year. Here in the Tri-Cities, an early start to remembrance ceremonies as family and friends gather to remember those who've lost. 8th District Representative B Brad Clippert shared this message. So to you young men who are up front there in uniform, young men over here who are in uniform, who have served, we want to say thank you. Because we have this day set aside in the United States of America to honor those who have gave their all, their full devotion, so that you, can, you and I can enjoy this beautiful, I know it's not summer yet, but it feels like it, this beautiful summer day in Richmond, Washington. And of course, thank you to all who served. And this morning I visited City View Cemetery in Pasco for the unveiling of the new permanent memorial honoring veterans. The veterans salute the flag. The veterans serve beneath the flag. And it's all these veterans and all these plots that surround us that fought for this American flag and all these rights and freedoms. Let us never take them for granted. On this Memorial Day, City View Cemetery honored veterans by dedicating a new veterans wall, paying tribute to all of the branches of the military. This is an important day for family members like Denise Campbell, a gold star stepmom who is on a mission to keep the son of her heart's memory alive. He became the son of my heart. Um, I took him for his first date when he was 14 and we went to a movie and we shared popcorn and a soda. And for a 14 year old boy to share that with his stepmom um, was really amazing. Campbell said her son was always ready for a challenge. Sergeant Talon Leach, he was a US Marine Corps 2nd Raider Battalion who served as a critical skills operator sniper who could speak Arabic, a halo jump expert among many other things. And at Campbell, he was an exceptional young man. Talon was 27 when he was killed on July 10th, 2017 on the KC-130 Hercules when it came apart 20,000 feet above Mississippi. 16 souls were lost that day. For families who are mourning their loved ones, Campbell says reach out to other families and never stop talking about the memories you shared with the loved ones you lost. I would really like people to remember that grief is an important part of ourselves an important part of our human condition that we really need to 
not have a stigma on that, that we need to grieve and accept the fact that that is an important thing. Um, hard times only become bad times when we bottle up the emotions that go along with that. So I think it's really important to remember the, the bad times, the hard times, the fun times, and then bring those forward when you're talking. Um, to not talking about somebody who has, has died is, is to put them aside. And I really, I think it's important to remember those people. And today, a special message for Talon. But um, I would want him to know just one more time how really proud I am. And thank you so much, Talon, for your service and also for all of the veterans and the families and the teams of people it took to raise these incredible men and women who have been able to keep us free. We are forever grateful. And tonight, a man is behind bars accused of using a stolen car to lead law enforcement on a chase that ended in a crash. Well, coming up, hear why this could become less common in the near future. Plus, scientists at the University of Washington are preparing for some out-of-this-world research, what they're hoping to discover in the next 10 minutes. Many people who deserve Social Security disability and workers' compensation benefits are denied. If you were denied, you want an experienced attorney's personal attention. I personally handle each workers' comp case. And I personally handle each Social Security disability case. If you can't work, let us go to work to get you benefits. Call toll-free 1-888-665-8630. Bothwell and Hamill. I couldn't stop crying. This is this man's life. Having been the heavyweight champion of the world, and then you're sitting in the pen. So, what does Mike Tyson have to say? Look at me. Mike Tyson, the stunning finale on ABC. It's that time again. Away RV Tri-Cities Annual Memorial Day RV Super Sale. Choose from hundreds of top-selling travel trailers, big wheels, toy haulers, and motorhomes, 16-foot travel trailers, the 45-foot diesel pushers, single-axle lightweight towables, the five-slide liveaboard, Class A, B, and C motorhomes. If you can think it, Away RV Tri-Cities has it. Away RV Tri-Cities is the exclusive home to every major RV manufacturer in the industry. Griffin, Newmar, Jayco, Keystone, Forest River and Thor. Every size, every shape, every style. Brand new fully loaded trailers from $13,995 to brand new luxury live-in diesel pushers starting at half a million bucks. There is only one true RV superstore in the Pacific Northwest. The number one RV supercenter. Appleway RV Tri-City. 1510 North Commercial Avenue. Pasco, Washington. Appleway RV Tri-City. Located in Pasco. Visit us online 24-7 at www.applewayrv.com. Big League performance in your backyard with battery power made by steel. Our AK Homeowner Series starts at just $199.99. Not sold at Lowe's or the Home Depot. Pick up now at over 10,000 local steel dealers. The CapTV Legend Skycam Network, a system of remote-controlled, state-of-the-art cameras bringing the weather home to you live with crystal clear, high-definition video. I love our Legend Skycam yes, Network because that. we kind of get to see a little of everything. The CapTV Legend Skycam Network, during CapTV Local News First Alert Weather and anytime online at yaktroynews.com. The CapTV Legend Skycam Network, exclusively from Legends Casino Hotel and CapTV Local News. Next, E.T. F9 delivers. That's the only way to say it. Summer blockbusters are back. Your ultimate guide to this season's must-see movies. Next, E.T. Tonight at 7 on Cap KVO. A portion of the news is sponsored by Anderson Sobel Cosmetic Surgery. Welcome back, everyone. We have new information tonight about the company that makes applets and cutlets. Liberty Orchards announced in March that it plans to close June 1st after more than a century in business. But now they're negotiating with a potential buyer, so everything is going to stay open for the time being. 
No word on a deadline for that potential deal. And Amanda, I must admit, I've lived in the Northwest my entire life. I've never had applets and cotlets. Well, it's time to change that, right? It is time. There, you know, <laughs> I've got a reprieve, a chance to go get some. Fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I know a lot of people are excited that they're still in business, so always <laughs> good to see that. You got it. We're taking a live look at our Legend SkyCam network. Folks, the heat is on. Wait till you see the numbers. I'll have them right after the break. Chevy is America's fastest growing full line brand and people are taking it everywhere. Taking Trailblazer outdoors, confidently taking on new places with Equinox and taking on more with Silverado. Whatever you do, there's a perfect Chevy to take you anywhere. Find your perfect Chevy and get up to 18% of MSRP cash back on select 2021 Chevy SUV models or get a total value of $47.50 on this 2021 Silverado All-Star Z71. So now DISH allows you to access your Google Nest Hello doorbell from your TV, which means no more pausing your show for some lame delivery that's like not even for you. Or Mike Gardner here for your first date. Wait, what time is it? No, he's here early. He can't see me like this. What do I do? Mom? Always know who's at your door right from your TV. I'm in, but stall. View your Google Nest Hello doorbell on your TV with DISH. Tuned in to you. The challenge, can you decorate an entire room in mid-century modern with items purchased only at Goodwill? Let's find out. Oh, that's cool. I like how mid-century these are. Oh, records. Challenge complete. You can do an excellent job of decorating an entire room with items found only at Goodwill, all while helping people in our community overcome poverty, unemployment, and barriers to a better life. Thank you. Goodwill, there's more behind the store. From the time that I was just a little boy, I had my heroes. It was Batman and Superman and John Wayne. But as I grew older, uh, I found out that the real heroes were the healthcare workers. They want to make a difference to serve this community. Our goal is to ensure that our patients feel just a little better going out the door than when they came in. And that's the promise from Good Shepherd. Patients first, always. The moment I got the vaccine, I felt like I had taken a step in the right direction. If you have questions about the vaccine, ask questions of your doctor. Go to the actual pharmacy, ask questions of the pharmacist. There's lots of resources online. Ask as many questions as you want until you feel comfortable with the answers that you're getting. It's a very personal decision. The sooner we get a higher percentage of people vaccinated, the sooner we can all get back to our regular lives. Excitement is building for something big. The Girl Scout Thin Mints Blizzard exclusively at DQ. It's an iconic combo. Pieces of Thin Mints cookies mixed with refreshing cool mint and world famous DQ vanilla soft serve. Making a treat so innovative that every bite is a sweet feat of ingenuity. In the Girl Scout Thin Mints Blizzard at DQ. Get it delivered at DQ.com. New at 6 o'clock, research at UW Medicine is reaching new heights by sending kidney tissue cells into outer space. Cap KVU's Madeline Hagen tells us what they hope to learn from this mission. On Thursday, a SpaceX cargo launch headed to the International Space Station will be carrying live kidney tissue samples from six donors. Researchers at UW Medicine hoping to learn how the space environment affects the human body. Microgravity represents a special environment where aging is accelerated. So we're really modeling how the human body ex uh, ex uh, responds in microgravity, but with the idea of actually how that is applicable to terrestrial diseases. According to scientists like Ed Kelly, astronauts are more prone to kidney issues while living in outer space. We actually want to see what's happening in people before they have full-blown kidney stones, and his kidney chip avatar represents a way of modeling that. Experts on board the ISS will run a number of tests on the samples. The research could also mean innovations for people who live with kidney issues on Earth. Kidney stones are very debilitating disease, and really we only have the only effective treatments we have for those are um, pain relief and or very uh, harsh surgical interventions. What we'd like to be able to come up with is identifying early biomarkers to predict before you actually have a kidney stone to actually protect you and actually perhaps come with some therapeutic intervention to prevent that uh, full-blown disease. 
Kelly says the conditions inside part of the ISS will help speed up results instead of running the same tests on Earth. The SpaceX cargo launch will be in Cape Canaveral on June 3rd. For CapKVU Local News, I'm Madeline Hagan. Thanks, Madeline. And right now, Kennewick police are investigating a drive-by shooting just a few blocks from Kamaikan High School. Police say people started calling 911 about the shooting just before 1130 last night. So far, it doesn't look like anyone has been hurt. But officers did find bullet holes in cars and also apartment buildings. The Kennewick Police Department does have an anonymous form online where you can give information and even pictures without ever having to give your name. We have a link on that website at Yak news.com Tonight, a 34-year-old man is behind bars accused of leading law enforcement on a chase in a stolen truck and then crashing on Yakima Avenue. Cap KVU's Emily Goodell spoke with officers about the incident and about how the new law that is set to go into effect in the next couple of months will affect future police chases. On Thursday evening, a Moxie police officer tried to stop a Ford pickup truck near State Route 24 and Birchfield Road for not having a front license plate. He failed to stop and let, let us on a chase throughout the Moxie and Terrace Heights area. Several attempts were made to spike the truck with stop sticks. They stopped the chase once they got to the Yakima city limits because they felt it was unsafe to continue. Police say the driver lost control of the pickup truck, crashed near 14th and Yakima Avenues and ran. There were a couple of citizens that got involved at that point and chased the driver as he ran from the truck. Between the citizens and the officers that were in the area, they were able to take him into custody. Investigators found the truck truck was stolen and its license plates had been switched. The 34-year-old man was booked into the Yakima County Jail on suspicion of eluding possession of a stolen vehicle and assault. In the next couple of months, police will have to follow a different set of rules when it comes to vehicle pursuits. We're not sure exactly how it's going to change things at this point. We'll have to wait and see once it's finally out how it compares to our existing policies. As part of a new police accountability bill signed into state law earlier this month, officers will face stricter rules when it comes to which suspects they can pursue. They can't chase suspects for minor offenses, but can for violent crimes, sexual offenses, escape from police custody, or driving under the influence. We want to chase them and catch them, so it's going to be difficult for us to not chase if the circumstances dictate that we do have to end the chase. In Moxie, Emily Goodell, Cap Cave View, Local News. And the new law will go into effect on July 25th. Now, Cap Cave View First Alert Weather with Jason Valentine. Sponsored by Click It RV, Tri-Cities. Good Monday, everyone. Happy Memorial Day. Hope you had a wonderful weekend and just the heat keeps coming and it's going to continue. Heat advisory is going to be starting tomorrow late morning. Light winds continue and please stay hydrated as we see our hottest temperatures of the year. And folks, it is going to be hot. And today is just a uh, appetizer for what we're going to be seeing. Very warm temperatures, though, as we head into the evening hours. We have quite a few 90s, lower 90s. Everywhere else in the mid to upper 80s, say for Dayton, right at 80 degrees. But again, even warmer temperatures tomorrow and then the apex on Wednesday. So winds not a factor today. We are very light throughout our areas, even nominal winds for Yakima and Toppenish. We're going to see light winds through Wednesday. We'll start to see them pick up Thursday and then quite a bit of wind will be here on Friday as we start to cool down. And again, heat advisory till 11 a.m. tomorrow until 8 o'clock on Thursday night for most of our cities. So just get ready for just very steamy temperatures as we move along. Speaking of which, here's the temperature trend. Our average is 79 up to 105 on Wednesday. And then look at this drop down actually below our average by the time we get to Sunday. So warm temperatures, but if you don't like the heat, you do have almost immediate relief on the way. Skywatch radar, pretty clear, folks, and we expect clear conditions really for the next couple of days at least, and uh, no sign of precipitation on the way. So plenty of sunshine Tuesday, and as we get into Wednesday, we are gonna see a little bit of cloud coverage come in late Wednesday into Thursday, and that's when those winds are gonna start to kick up. So we'll keep an eye on that. With such a drop of temperatures, could be a little bit of shower activity. We'll keep an eye on that. Overnight tonight, 
pretty much lower 60s, very warm overnight. As we get to tomorrow, mid to upper 90s throughout the land. And again, mostly sunny skies. Protect yourself with that sunscreen. And again, keep an eye on your four-legged friends. 105 on Wednesday, 101 on Thursday for the Tri-Cities. And then we just start dropping down. 92 Friday, 83, 77 for Sunday. So cooler temperatures are on the way and plenty of sunshine is on tap. 101 for Yakima by Wednesday, 96 on Thursday. Then I'll be the down to 73. So folks, our temperatures really since April have been kind of a yo-yo. We continue that as we start June tomorrow. So get ready for a hot one tomorrow and an even hotter one Wednesday. And dangerous social media stun is now to blame for sending an Oregon teenager to the ICU with serious burns. Tonight we're talking about how parents can stay ahead of the viral trends. Honoring men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice. The vaccines that we have available are fantastic. And vaccinating yourself is the best way to protect yourself and your community. One by one, together, as we are vaccinated, we form a barrier to this virus. It's going to let us get back to doing the things that we love and seeing the people that we love. Every person getting vaccinated gets us one step closer. One step closer to seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and ending this pandemic. It was an old rail line. Now it's one of the most awesome treks in America. Tunnels and the trestles. Wow. The Hiawatha Trail. Fly the Northwest. Cap gave you local news at 6 Tuesday. This is the new Ergo Smart Base from Tempur-Pedic. And it responds to snoring automatically. So no more nudging your partner or opting for the couch. Because the Temper Ergo Smart Base is our first system that detects snoring and automatically adjusts to help reduce it. Your best sleep. All night. Every night. And right now, save up to $500 on Tempur-Pedic adjustable mattress sets. Denver Mattress. The easiest way to get the right Tempur-Pedic. If you've been in a serious car accident, Tamaki Law knows that it can be overwhelming. Insurance companies, hospital bills, wage loss, and fear of the unknown. Tamaki Law is an experienced team that will fight for you and give you peace of mind. Tamaki Law's commitment to justice will allow you to focus on your health and family. No more worries, no more insurance headaches, no more. It's your call, so choose wisely. Call Tamaki Law. Chevy is America's fastest growing full line brand and people are taking it everywhere. Taking Trailblazer outdoors, confidently taking on new places with Equinox and taking on more with Silverado. Whatever you do, there's a perfect Chevy to take you anywhere. Find your perfect Chevy and get up to 18% of MSRP cash back on select 2021 Chevy SUV models or get a total value of $47.50 on this 2021 Silverado All-Star Z71. See your community Chevy dealers. Prosser Memorial Health proudly offers mental health services at our primary care clinics in Prosser and Grandview. Our mental health providers are certified, experienced, and now accepting new patients. Taking care of our mental health is vital to our overall well-being and general health. To schedule an appointment, call a Prosser Memorial Health Clinic near you. To learn more, visit prosserhealth.org. This is how we care. When dad's condition got worse, I started caring for him full time. I cherish these months, but being a caregiver can be tough, especially now. I'm glad I found Chaplaincy Hospice Care. They're here for dad, me, the whole family, helping us safely care for dad at home. They support the whole person, body, mind, and spirit, and their guidance helped me be a more confident caregiver. Find out how Chaplaincy can help you. It's a death row shocker. 15 years after he was convicted of murdering his wife, Lacey, and his unborn son, Connor, Scott Peterson's death penalty sentence was overturned. The Dr. Oz Show, tomorrow at 4 on Cap K View. A teenage girl is fighting for her life in Oregon. Her mother says that she was trying to recreate a fire challenge that she saw on TikTok and it went horribly wrong. The social media app TikTok lets you create short videos and share them. But the Crane family believes that an attempt at the TikTok mirror fire challenge is the reason 13-year-old Destiny is now in the ICU. 
her friend was like yelling um, and saying like, oh, she was filming TikTok, she was filming TikToks. There was a bottle, a capped bottle of alcohol sitting on the counter and it was, the whole side of it was black and the whole side of it had busted open. Um, and there was a lighter and a broken, um, a broken candle. So that is, that's just kind of the conclusion we came to. Destiny has been in the ICU since May 14th and she's had a tracheotomy and doctors are now in the process of doing skin grafts on her arm and neck. The cranes are now warning other parents about the dangers that these videos pose and say that they wanna prevent something like this from happening to anyone else. Very important news for our parents, but your only source for local news at 6.30 is next right here on Cap KVU. I'm Amanda Mason. I'm Jason Valentine. Thank you so much for watching, folks. Folks, we're going to be right back.